Welcome back, chat. I hope you're doing well. And you guys have made it to the middle of the week. Congratulations. Um, wow, it's really dirty under there. I, <laughs> anyway, hello. So today is usually our code vein day, but uh, my mod Donna has a headache and it's not up to playing code vein today. So I figure why not play more Danganronpa so I don't have to do two really long streams at the end of the week. <laughs> I really, really want to get through this game though before St. Jude starts, so I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm afraid. I don't know if I'm actually mentally and emotionally ready, but I'm ready. Hope you guys are ready. Uh, yep, we're just gonna hop right to it. Just hop right to it. This this music's gonna be in my head for the rest of my life. It'll just it'll just be there for the rest of my life. Yes. Hi, I'm Anaka. Hello. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Should there be more people? Hi, Ginger! How are you? It's been a while. Damn it. Stop it. You're making me depressed. <laughs> You're making me depressed. There we go. <laughs> um. So, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through this, we can go back, right? That's right? That Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not. Hi, Peanut. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know? Hi, Zelos! Hello, Peno. Welcome. Look at all the mo- <laughs> Yes. Monokori stream. Okay. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Alright. You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial, I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. Ooh, Monami is still angry. Hi, Monami. What the fuck? Why are you here? Why is it when she's quiet, it's scarier? You haven't realized it yet? The feeling of wanting to leave this island. Thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. I didn't realize Kanta gets that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take care, Ginger. Thanks for stopping by, at least. Friends and Pedo, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He is planning something far worse. Uh, uh, stop trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up. Super heavy here. Oof. You've been warned, chat. Damn right. Stupid rabbits should just shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? Uh, 
I finally realized after losing my powers. I've realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small. But as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight! What's her deal? Um, I, I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. But her eyes, she looks so determined. You. What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Hi, are you comfy? Anyway, make sure you turn off Minim Minimaru. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. Ah, huh. oh, fine. But still. Somehow, I understand what Monami is saying. I think. Hi. Are you now comfy? There's my cup. Notice message should basically just be Corey is playing Danganronpa. If you don't know what this is, you should probably come back another time. <laughs> uh, some of it's some of it's worse than other times. There are there are some some points that are just really bad, and some that are just eh bad. Right, but again, it does depend on person on the person watching too. Anyway, let's get going to the class trial. Yep. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Here we go. Roar! There you go. How's that? Is <laughs> that <a> good roar? <laughs> nah. Game is a heavy roller coaster like all the time. Even the lighter parts are only by contrast. Right, that's true. That is true. <laughs> this is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. This game as a content warning trip for sure. I mean, it is the only game where we have specific content warnings for every single chapter. <laughs> Most of the time you can do like a general for the whole game. But this is every chapter has its own. <laughs> every chapter. This elevator ride will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Stop pawing at my shirt, child. Damn it. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is gonna go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. And even if he's gone, the ones who've survived need to stand and fight. We must fight. Squish the cat. Squish it. It is very needy. It needs to be squished. And then, door slowly opened. Bright, this bright light greeted us. Greeting us. Is that the light of hope? So playing Planet Crafter 
here while here and mostly annoyed the game flips its lid and minimizes every time I click out. Ooh, yeah, I hate when the games do that. It's like, just just stay where I put you. I put you there for a reason. Just, just stay there. Or the light of despair. So few of us left. <laughs> well then, now that the chatterbox Nagito is gone, there are only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Enough! Just fucking start this already. Hey! Hey, this is this is it, right? This is really the cla last class trial, right? Yep. It sure is. So, you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. all right. Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. Now then. Let's get this trial started. Killing. This is the last class trial. Let's so show some enthusiasm and kill each other. What? Huh? What? This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Kamida, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. sociable. his true nature held such a demented thought process that it was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope would never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us, too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. I have no idea at all who did it, but... There we go. There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why. We absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. I mean, we should probably... Goodbye, prologue! <laughs> with a simple explanation of the class trial. Why? During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh my! Monami? My cute little sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? Oh boy. <laughs> You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit?
Wow. Nothing. One more time. Jeez, how about this one? This will be my final blow. I know, Monami's just sitting there taking it though. And saying nothing. I don't think there's a scarier moment ever than this right here. Just a very quiet monomy. It's useless. Please stop. I feel bad for monomy. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with monomy. The class trial has started after all. There's a child that keeps looking up at me. What? The victim this time is Nagito, who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. As if you don't know, Monokuma. You know everything. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? Let's not. Traitor. And the killer who murdered Nagito here right are they the same person or the killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up I'm telling you they were torturing him the reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds it's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. Uh. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? I was wondering that myself. Like, if it was a traitor, there's no need to torture him because they don't need to learn who the traitor is. But if they were trying to find the bombs... Hmm. I didn't expect to put this name on the list. Suspects. Okay. No. Are the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by torture in the first place? Ha Hajime, how do you constantly think about that too? Can't write, guys. Hi, Cram. Your favorite dragon? I'm the only dragon you know, as far as I know. Okay. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. 
So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb uh -huh. first. That was Fuyuhiko. I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. I remember the Feeny emotes. That's not what I want. I want... What was Monokuma's account again? So Monokuma knew that the bombs were fake, but he didn't tell anybody, but Nagito would have known. So if they were actually torturing him to find the bomb's location, Rodley would have found out that they were fake? At the same time? Goodness gracious. Hmm. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Hey. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Okay, so funny by coincidence and find the bomb's location were two things I could agree with and there were two things to disagree with. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that the significance of the Lushy again? Oh, that. Trying to find out by torturing him. Definitely the bomb's hiding place. <laughs> if so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Wait, Sonya knew they were fake too. Guys, I have no idea. What? Drive safe.
This one's difficult, chat. Especially since Hajime is leading us towards the, was it actually torture path? Take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Maybe. So that's why he was so beat up. What were yeah. trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect <laughs> is whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. If the point of torturing someone is to find out information, why would you duct tape their mouth shut? They can't tell you anything if they can't speak. On the other hand, you're just torturing someone to torture them. You don't need to hear what they have to say. What other reasons would pain be inflicted? Question your assumptions. It's to obscure something or inflict pain. What? I have zero uh, assumptions, <laughs> to be completely honest. I know, murders here do normally hide something else in it. Oh gosh, um... Plus, the place was rigged to burn as soon as we opened the door. I'm just not sure what- which one to- that I'm supposed to be using here. Cause like... The torture wounds would probably point to the fact that he was tortured, even though we're questioning whether or not that's true. Trying to think of a hint that doesn't give it away, well, I appreciate it. The duct tape is just kind of weird if it is torture, but like... If it's not even, why would you use it? Except to make it look more like torture? I, I don't know. Panels just show that it was rigged. Same with the lighter, so it was right to let on fire at a certain time. The plushie, I don't under, I don't know yet the significance of the plushie that was stabbed too. But it would have had to have been stabbed bef after uh, Nagito was at least hurt because it has blood all over it. Hashi is weird if someone else did it. Plus, Okay, so there's evidence also that Nagito was holding on to the cord of the spear. Right. Um. Uh, this whole thing is very confusing. <laughs> I 
And I gotta focus on these clues here. And I don't... Knife, plushy panels, duct tape, torture wounds. What else was there? Oh, and Monokuma's account. So I got these six things, and I'm not sure... Not sure what I have to use and on which one. Nagito's mouth to shut him up. That's not what I wanted. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Uh, so that's no, that's not what I wanted to do. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Crap. Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Okay, <laughs> covered, but. <laughs> so, the suspect. Okay. Is whoever found the bomb first? I can't dispute that. that. Can't really. I found it by coincidence. Can't agree with that. The only thing I can think There's of that no I can ar even argue way. with or for is the very first thing, which would be the torturing. But I don't know what to use. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's oh. body was covered with wounds. You know what torture and what doesn't fit? Because there is something that stands Nagito. out. No, that's wrong. Okay, so it was what I was thinking. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. Sometimes I think I talk myself into circles. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> if he was being tortured for information. They wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. Ah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, I just realized it. It's a trap. 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 Stupid Hajime. You got caught in that trap. Stupid. Already? I'm um. I, uh, um, I guess we're sticking with this for now. Nagito's mouth was taped shut. I can't. You obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? Yes. That was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that oh. he was interrogated. No, 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 no. Okay. That's not true either because there are signs that Nagito did try to, like, talk with the, the duct tape on his mouth because it was stuck to the inside of his mouth. All right. Kazuya just seems unusually confident. I should ask him why that is. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk. But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention. This is how first the killer tortured and got information about the then after they killed him. Nope, that's not right. Nope, never mind. Head. It is. <laughs> okay. No, there's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? You might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? You have a crush on him or something? Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? <coughs> the blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? 
Yes, but truth is true. Right. Fair. On his face came from his arm wounds, which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. <laughs> he must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so he wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? I can't think of any other reason. Listen to little Kojima. Uh, I know them by s most of their names, but not all of them. Is it? Oh, hold on, we can look this up really quick. <laughs> Kojima. <laughs> it... Wait, hold on. What? You're saying nicknames to be of twos? Oh, <laughs> that's oh, no. fine. Oops. But who could have done that? Fine. <laughs> when the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah, and right after I opened the warehouse door. The flames started burning from the very back. Which means it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. Then who else would have set the fire? The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Mm -hmm. Some kind of setup? Like what? The panels. I... I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. I have an idea! With the panels and the lighter. That's our Miss Sonia. She has such an amazingly high intellect. This is not the time, Kazuichi. Alrighty then, let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Damn right it is! Reason for the fire, huh? You're right. We need to clear that up first. Here we go! Wait. Cause of the fire was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Yes. The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? Nope. Definitely a possibility, right? Ah. <laughs> okay. I jumped the gun a little. Go back through. The fire was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Oh, the used an argument. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. No. Based on the shape of that oil lighter. It can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, 
It could have ignited the curtain. Some way. Maybe they used invisible thread. No. Nope. Don't want to agree with that. Way to tip it over with sound waves. Sound waves? What? No, hold on. <laughs> I didn't read it all the way. <laughs> Crap. My bad. I'm the sorry. The, fire was. the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Oh. Is that kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter. Watching someone else play this is oddly hilarious. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Over the lighter in some way. It could have ignited the curtain. Some way. Hello, T-Mon. T-Monster. Hey. Should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused. Yes, that one. That's the one. I agree with that. <laughs> I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Among Us would probably is 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 a very accurate thing. There is a killer among us. They must be eliminated. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. She should stop while she's ahead. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tips no. Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? No, we can't find Chiaki is a sweet little bean. We must save Chiaki. Nothing can happen to Chiaki. They were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? The killer did one other thing to hide the domino effect? Oh! Um. The MP3 player. I see. I broke the noise. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That him blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panel. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker. Oh, this is flashback. <laughs> Never mind. Don't read flashbacks. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Alright, buddy, we can accept the fact we're not getting caffeine any moment now. Any day now.
the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Hmm. Ash not liking soda. He's not the worst character. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. His obsessiveness that borders on creepy is a little bit of an issue. <laughs> you don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. That door was the only entrance to the warehouse. See, the problem Shiaki's talking about is... Killer couldn't have left. I see. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it, does that mean they were hiding inside? <laughs> Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Mm -hmm. Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Pretty good dude to their family and all. We didn't really talk to him much. So we wouldn't know. Huh? You don't mean. But if that's true, this murder. Um, Hajime? What do you mean? Um, hmm. That, that implication there is, hmm. Interesting. Ch Chucky? This is fine. This is not fine. How, though? How? I. Keep going. Person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. I don't- I don't like this line of thinking. I... This is my answer! What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know! He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? I mean, that would kind of make sense with the spear, but the rest of it is a little harder to believe. But then again, it is Nagito. He's a little out there. Traitor too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? <laughs> Don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying? 
guessing those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? <sighs> That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? One hand was free for a while. Although, the one hand was free. It's also the hand that was stabbed. Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Not necessarily. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah, as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but... I feel like I'm overlooking something. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> what? Okay, here we go. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. Oh, it's that's obviously it. impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you used your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? I have to listen to it again. Our assumption that Nagito committed suicide is correct. Nagito should have tied himself up too. Okay, right? I don't actually know. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna, I just gotta figure out where to put it. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but means. tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? I don't know. Or if you use your front tail. Shut up, Akane. Dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? Why are... I feel like these are so much harder to figure out. Okay. That's not gonna help. Not at all? No, I don't think... Oh! Okay, so that that's probably... Something to do with it? I just gotta figure out where to put it. Because if the rope was burned but a sleeve is fine, then it was probably burned ahead of time. That's not gonna... Although, how would he do that with just the one hand? And then the purpose of the plushie. I 
Okay. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. Oops. No, wait. Come back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't... Crap. I don't know. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. Is it... Ah, crap. Tying just the legs is one thing, but... And there's only the two things to argue with, and then two things to agree with, and one of the things we're not agreeing with anyway, but... The other one was teeth, but we can't do that with a duct tape. Shut up. Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Okay, so that only leaves one... To actually tie up your own arms one, so... Yeah, Okay. Oof. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? W what? I, I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. What's up, Game Life? Thank you for the raid! <laughs> Hello, welcome everybody! Uh, my name is Cory. <laughs> I don't... Listen, I have some... Usually I have something planned. And then I forget it. Um. Anyway, yeah. My name is Corey. I go use she, they uh, pronouns. Um. Yeah. That I don't have much. I'm sorry. I write sometimes. I play games. And right now we're playing Danganronpa, uh, which has a pretty significant content warning. So. Um, yes. Thank you, Yamanaka. So, yeah, we have a content warning. Um, if it's something you can't handle, totally fine. I understand. Please, please, please take care of yourself and your mental health first. Uh, but yeah, we are, as Pedro said, on trial, chapter five trial. There's only one more chapter after this. We're trying to finish it up before St. Jude Play Life starts. So, hopefully, we'll get it done today and then two more stream days. So, that's that's what's going on. But welcome. And thank you for the follows. Okay. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. Proves that the burnt rope on Nagito's right arm is a trap. This right sleeve. I see. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Keep moving my notebook. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop Oh my god, Akane! You should not give it away for free. Oh, Sonia. What is up with some of these lines? <laughs> to which one? Three or he go? Never mind. I don't want to know. Fine. I just got to get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. Thank you for your Hiko. I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? Yeah, that's that's the part I'm still confused about. It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. Okay. 
Not, not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. We're getting sidetracked. Then hurry up and spill it. If it's something lame, I'll make you get back to Benjamin with ten thousand percent interest. I don't think you understand how. Never mind. Um, a way to stab yourself in your right hand using only your right hand. It's okay. There's definitely an answer for this. Is there? Maybe that? Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall. No. It, it's wrong? That's <laughs> just that right to me. I should think about that one one more time. It Even sounded good. His right hand was free. <laughs> How could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? That would take a lot of precision, though. Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Maybe. Maybe his right hand down on it? Propped it onto what? If he just propped the Oh! Knife, he could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. We don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. I mean, it really wouldn't take much to reach. Oh, I don't. Okay, the girder is probably not the right answer because that's on the ceiling. I don't know what the other ones are. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? I don't know, Peanut. Is he a throwing knife expert? No. Maybe he propped the knife somehow <laughs> and slammed his right hand down on it. It what? That's the only thing I can think of to prop it on. Hi, Peanut. He could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. We don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. Hi, baby. That's a very odd statement to me. Like, how, how far away would? Cause like, you can still roll. Like. I could... <laughs> right? I feel like that... You could totally do that. But also, I don't know how much force you could do that with. But... Even if uh, right hand was could free. you lie down, child? How could he stab his right hand with his right hand? <laughs> if he threw the knife into the air... And let the knife fall... Could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? <laughs> I'm overthinking this, but it's funny as hell. <laughs> Listen, I am I'm very good at overthinking things. A life-size monokuma plushie. He must have used that to pop the knife. What are you doing to Kyo now? Aww. Okay. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand. And into that's it. why it's covered with blood. Oh my gosh. Nagito, what in the world? If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious what? blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. I... I... I see. Kito so for press? I mean, he's got commitment. Let's... We can give him that. I... Oh, boy. 
for a moment. I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. A bleeding plushie is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. What? After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now? Stop. I get what you're saying about the Stop. right hand, but there's still one huge problem. Just one? The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how he did that one either. Boots for not President Nagito. Listen, guys, Nagito can't be president. He's deceased. <laughs> He's passed. <laughs> he is no longer present. Oh, gosh. The only way that this really works out is that spear can't be the killing blow because there's there is the evidence that his left hand was holding on to the cord in order to manipulate that spear in order to do this <laughs> little thing like death can't stop press Nakito. <laughs> I've seen recoveries here. I mean yeah, sort of. But like that arm is tied up so like he can't actually do much with it <laughs> Yuto is lucky enough to get better he is the ultimate lucky student he could definitely probably have the luck to get better oh gosh if you think about the order Getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen in Nagito. That would be the assumption, but we all know what we think about uh, assumptions in this game. If that's true, how is that possible? Stop. You just lay there and behave and be good. Stop pawing at me, you weird cat. He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then... Probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. I'm gonna take a peanut treat. Hi, Kitra! Enjoying the chapter, I see. I watched the last one yesterday. <laughs> oh man. This is this is a trip, I gotta say. As much as much crap as i have given nagito this is not what i expected and the more we're learning about this come on there you go right it's not over yet no it certainly is not and i'm not expecting it to until the end of the game <laughs> Oh gosh. We've learned that Nagito has a lot of conviction and apparently a very high pain tolerance for a while. There is a limit to his constitution. Are you sure? Because there's no evidence to that. You got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Ah, uh, maybe. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. Uh, like I said, if you got penetrated by something oh, so big and thick, you my gosh, Kazuichi. Recording for a reason. No, 
I need a spray bottle for Kazuichi. So, psst, no. Stop it. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, bastard, you better cut it out. This is why we don't like Kazuichi. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. <laughs> like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. So your thoughts on how this ends? Head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> no. Head, head filled with this, imp this, this thing. When we got to this yesterday and we got to the just before trial started, this this scenario, this possibility was not even on my radar. I have a list of suspects. I added a sec fourth one during this at the beginning and all of a sudden they were like, hmm, maybe it was suicide. And I go, um, what? So yeah, yeah, brain's a little full with this, this, uh, this bomb. It's not if we're if the fact that Monokuma is saying this is the last class trial and we all get to leave is very sus as well. I don't believe it. It is the last class trial, probably. Maybe. But no. No. Peno has said something about a trial for chapter six. So I wonder if it ends sort of like the other, the first game, where the trial is actually trying to find out who is controlling things. Hmm. Anyway, focus on what's on hand. <laughs> this. <laughs> Guarantee whatever you're thinking is wrong. It usually is. That's why we get so many like, oh my gosh, moments. Which I kind of enjoy, so. <laughs> It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. Uh-huh. So you're saying it's impossible. No. We don't use that word here. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. Hold up. Hold on. The line of thinking I have has potential, but it would also be, like, a matter of chance? Because there's still the blood on the girdle, and we know that Nagito is holding on to the cord of the spear with his left hand. If... If he had the spear up and around the girdle and hanging down, maybe? I don't know, though. It would explain the blood up there, though. Okay. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. I have a box of tissues. Your your gift has come through the power of the internet and into my hands, Yamanaka. Thank you very much for these. Set them there. <laughs> you just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. Wow, Bonami. If you even think about doing anything, 
I have a plan of my own. Yeah, I can see that or hear that. But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. How is that convenient? <laughs> Monami is getting baldy. Yeah, Monami has been on a roll lately. She's getting very angry. Almost makes you wonder why she's so angry. Was Nagito actually the traitor and she's mad she lost her little precious person? I don't think so. I don't think so. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course, that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. Out of everybody left, Kazuichi, you're probably the most sus just because. Actually, no. I do have an extra special mark by your name. But that's for traitor, not for murderer. <laughs> obvious simp is obvious. Mm. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Oh, really? It's happened before. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. Plus, it kind of goes with the pattern. Because we've earlier in this game, we realized there was a pattern and that the killings here match the killings in the first game. But then we skipped the suicide one that was supposed to also be of the traitor. So, by that logic, Nagito could have been? What? I don't know. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. Mm-hmm. What kind of way? But also in our fourth chapter here in this game we kind of had a little surprise because gondam was kind of a self-sacrifice he was trying to save everybody else by ending it in the only way he could so it was kind of like kind of a monkey wrench thrown into the works So, yeah. I don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. Sounds good, Chiaki. Let's do it. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone working together. She's right. We've made it through several ordeals up until now by doing that. Then even now. All right, let's do this. Go. What I want. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear. 
Lord Kazuichi? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. And that rules out his left hand. No, it doesn't. No, that's wrong. That was quick. Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splatters, that's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong? We might need Oops, to I cut off the comment. Imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? What's Naruto's left hand doing when the blood splattered? Uh, gripping something? I see. That, yeah. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? Akane! Perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Can we just just take Kazuichi and Akane and just sort of shuffle them to a different room for now? Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. Ay. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. Right. That's the problem. Hey Chiaki, what do you think? I found her jacket. Just the jacket. I want it. Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Really? Chucky is so precious. Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However... What's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Which section of the spear was he holding on to? I see. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were blood stains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a blood stain shape like it was cut off by something. Hi, baby girl. Again. Hold on. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Is it the size of that cutoff section? About the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. I... I mean... Nagito is gripping the core extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. From there, 
How would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Stop it. I will take that paw and hold on to it for the rest of the stream if I must. No. It's mine now. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? Stop, child. <laughs> At a time like this. How about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? <laughs> You're such a brat. That's a long plan name. One step at a time. What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned? Nagito is facing up, and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that... Ah! That's it! Could it be... The state of the spear, and the fact that Nagito is holding the tip of the cord attachment. I put those together and think about it. Should be able to figure out... Where the spear was, and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Ah, no. Okay, good. I can do the logic dive. Okay. I just gotta remember what all the buttons are. Stop, Peanut. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where was the spear just before it impaled Nagito? Uh above Nagito. What what? <laughs> Things are moving! <laughs> no, thank you! Just gonna... Just gonna stay over... Oh, no. Back over here. Oh, crap. Okay, beside the spear, what else was above Nagito? Ceiling girder. Well, that was new. Ah, crap! <laughs> I don't like those. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, what item connects both the spear and the ceiling girder? Um... I can't rub on Nagito's right hand. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess we're here. They were overlapped. I couldn't read them, but they were pretty much the same. Okay, we did it. We did it, chat. <sighs> My cat has taken to coming over and jumping up and laying down on my chest when she wants me to get up and feed her. I wish that was a symbol for Peanut, but Peanut will actually, especially if it's in the morning, she'll like start pawing at me and crying at me. But she has food, so it's not food. She just wants attention. Ceiling girder directly above him. 
Agito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder and using that as a support. He hoisted the spear directly above him. Act us out while you're sitting at the computer. <laughs> And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Are you serious? Really committed suicide like that? I think this is the fastest this group has actually focused on a person instead of trying to figure out the person. He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this. There's no reason they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. Kano smiled. What did I just say? Sometimes trial one and dog on Roko one was pretty quick too. That was a long time ago, Pano. <laughs> But okay, I'll take your word for it. Sometimes I think my commentary is on autopilot and I just say things that just pop into my head and then they go and then brain's like done and then I instantly forget. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick. Then this is for real? It seems to be. He really committed suicide? Also, evidence as to me playing way too much Dark Souls. Um, That looks like a fog wall in the back and I really need to go through it to meet the boss. <laughs> Uh Okay, done. Every single wound on his body. That was all him. Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping the spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. My goodness. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? I guess so. Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? Probably. He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? Again, he's got conviction. <laughs> Thank you for the kisses on my arm, Peanut. That's beyond crazy. Why would he do that to himself? Her hope he was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. No, Nagito doesn't do that. Gosh, by committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. No, that doesn't seem right though, because Nagito is all about being on the side of hope, and if he leads us to the wrong answer. I don't feel like... I don't know. That doesn't... No. This is their election campaign? Oh gosh. Was to get us all executed. I don't... I don't know. I am doubting everything. That's 
messed up. I seriously so messed up. Yeah, that's our Nagito. <laughs> Jeez, and I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. Stupid of me. I know, right? I was really like, man, I trashed Nagito a lot, but he didn't deserve to die like that, only to find out he did it to himself. I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. I... Mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form his malice took. The guy you love to hate and hate to love. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And yet, there's still a part of me, even right now at this point, that can't help but... Exactly, that's the part of me. It's like, I don't feel like that's the purpose behind this. Like, I still believe a little bit in the good in him we saw at the very beginning of this game. <laughs> there's, there's got, there's a different motive, I feel it. <laughs> This doesn't- this doesn't feel like Nagito. Oh, I had forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. I mean, he- he definitely would be sneering at you, but... Because you're wrong. <laughs> However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Yeah, which is also an interesting thing because he didn't reveal anything, but then... See, this is why I wonder if he was on Monami's side, but then the two of them make a very unlikely duo. Very unlikely duo. Uh oh <laughs> the dots. <laughs> Whatever became of that? Uh, he was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. I don't think so. That's not really how Nagito works. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. No. That the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. That was an interesting thing. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. Except my kid. He tried to make us doubt each other. It tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? Mm, I don't. He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. But why, Mini Kojima? But why? All right, I need to know. Who is Kojima? <laughs> he didn't have okay but that's the thing he didn't have delusions of grandeur he really didn't he thought very lowly of himself in fact the only person he thought lower than him was Hajime but only because Hajime is not an ultimate talent we've come to a conclusion i mean we have come to a conclusion we could technically end the trial right here we all know who did it ish probably maybe uh, we seem convinced 
We don't really need the why and the how. We just need a name. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so he'd be executed. Hmm. That should be okay, right? Right? What? You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. And suddenly Akane and I are on the same side. Like, the, the trial could end here. But I need to know. Is it really that simple? It's never really that simple, but... And of course, we always have to know the why. And the how, of course. But like... There's something else behind this. It's probably just my imagination. But why is never that simple? Or why is it never that simple? Inquiring minds have to know. I know it. I know. It wouldn't be satisfying unless we had all the answers, right? And yet, we never get all the answers. But I need the answers to this. Would Nagito not have predicted this conclusion, too? You would? Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but... Why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is? Or... So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? No. I need more answers. Everything about Nagito has been conundrum after conundrum after conundrum, and he doesn't give us answers, and damn it, this time I want answers! <laughs> Lots of comments, all spoilers to keep pressing forward, Corey. <laughs> End of this chapter is so awesome. I believe you. What do you think, Ikani? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. No. You're right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. But there's something. Then it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's yeah. okay to reach such a happy ending, right? <laughs> a happy ending in Dogon Ropa? You have not been paying attention, Kazuichi. Then it's okay? It's okay to say we've decided on the killer? Hanakuma's too happy about this. Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. <sighs> well, uh, hold on. Why? Uh, sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But... I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense, and it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Thing related to Nagito's death. It's something that even he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? And here I thought we were finally finished. Um, something related to Nagito's death. A piece of- excuse me. What? I don't know what we're looking-
looking for I could okay hold on I can sort of read through it. a piece of evidence that even he couldn't mess with okay that's the same thing we read but like what a piece of evidence that even he couldn't mess with Nope, that's not it. Oh yeah, related to his death. Yeah. That he couldn't even mess with. I see. Okay, that was right. Is it about the Monokuma file? Yeah, that's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? Time of death is kind of suspicious. Maybe. It was Nagito Kamida. Okay. Inside the warehouse near. Yep. Estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. That's the only thing on there that would make me kind of suspicious. The suspicious part of the Monokuma file that Chiaki is worried about is... What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? That would be it. No. Uh, holy crap. of death there are so many letters here uh o and o and f uh d d this is gonna be hard where is I need an E. Nope. I need an A. Fuck. A. E. Oh my gosh. I can do it. <laughs> that was so hard. Wait, who was the cause of death? Oh, there is no cause of death. That's, no specific cause of death. That's the. I totally missed that. Hi, Machu. Or my sweet baby Ray's my my flaming dragon hot Cheeto to your heart. Hmm, that's a lot of barbecue sauce Cheetos. Got it. I am food. <laughs> 
I totally missed that. I thought the suspicious, the suspicious thing was time of death because it was like noon sharp, but we got to the warehouse at like noon sharp. So there's no cause of death that did. Yeah, I missed that. Wait. Wait. No, that couldn't... That could... It does know what's up. <laughs> the dead Don't eat Nagito, we need him still. <laughs> Apparently he's our next president. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> oh, guys. I don't. Mm. Okay. If there's no cause of death, does that just mean that Anokuma doesn't know what the cause of death was? Or is he hiding it for a reason? And also, I'm still present. Nagito doesn't care about your culinary int intentions or death. <laughs> right. Because the, there's something else that is bothering me. And they are the fire grenades that didn't do anything. I've seen so many others play the games. I just like to hang around for the reactions and help out when needed. I appreciate it. And I super appreciate all of the people who come and hang out who know the game, who have played or seen the game, and don't spoil it. I do really appreciate it because I, I love these these things too as much as you guys probably love watching the reactions and watching me struggle i enjoy the like the brain sparks in my head that just go oh, wait so I, I super appreciate it because i know we've had a few people quite a few people pop in on the danganronpa streams who have seen or played it okay so the fire grenades bug me and I have, hmm, I don't like this thought process, but I have, there's something going on in my brain. Because, was cause of death, I want to, I wonder if the cause of death was poison. Because he had that poison in his fridge. I like that he bleeds hot pink. They all bleed hot pink. <laughs> Cause it's weird that the fire grenades didn't work. Right? But then that would also mean... Was Nagito still alive when we first entered the warehouse? And were the fire grenades filled with poison? Okay, we're just gonna move on. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? Or blood for the blood god, yes. The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. You know it'd be great, chat. <laughs> We've already had a few usernames pop into chat to like hang out every once in a while that are characters from the game like celeste has been here oh gosh who all has there's been like three i think i like him he looks crazy him kazuichi no no you don't like him he's uh, he's obsessive and 
very dirty minded. You don't like no. <laughs> but wouldn't it be funny while you guys are all talking about Nagito for president, just Nagito is lying dead, you know, as the victim if Nagito showed up in chat? <laughs> Pondo <laughs> pink man. Oh gosh. Soda needs a timeout in a dark hole deep underground in a forgotten location. Yes. <laughs> I was Celos. Guys are gonna manifest Nagito user name. Twitch Twitch user Nagito. Well, Monokuma. Yeah, Monokuma, tell us. Does that mean that there's a chance you would incriminate yourself if you told us? Here he goes again. I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Nikon's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that applies this time too? Probably. Oh, hold, hold on a sec. Then, are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Wait! I just realized something. If... If the cause of death was the poison... Does that make all of us the killers? That... That can't be right. That can't be right. Is Mini Kojima Fuyuhiko? <laughs> oh, that would be awful. There wouldn't be another chapter. Oh, no, wait. Maybe that's what spurs on the final chapter. <gasps> is that. Is, did Nagato do all of this just to make us so we finally start fighting for an end to this? Is that- is that the fuel of the hope? Oh. Oh. Shit. Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? I think we are. You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. Yamanaka is smiling, even though I have no idea. <laughs> if that was true, did he need to kill himself or did he learn something more important? Well, here's the thing, Zelos. He's always seen himself as a stepping stepping block to to hope, like that he would be the stepping stone to levitate hope. Maybe that's exactly what he did. But he has learned some more important things. Oh, Kano told you stuff, so you do know things. Ooh. All right. Yamanaka coming in with the secret knowledge. Because we know he learned important stuff. He knows who the traitor is. At least that, if not more. Oh. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but... But, it's not just a suicide. To clarify, who's gonna kill himself? Why is there more to it? I, I mean, there's gotta be more to it. Nagito wouldn't just kill himself for... Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> My brain is, is starting to fry itself out. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, cause like... Oh. Technically, it could still be a suicide because he set it up himself to... But then we were the agents. Come to think of it, 
Oh, there are so many things. Did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? They wouldn't do that. Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? It's gonna be a bit for V3 though, warning, because next month, uh, Say Jude Play Live, that we're doing for the whole month, so it will have to be after St. Jude, because I don't think these games are appropriate for a children's charity. <laughs> but we will play it! <laughs> but I am determined for the last game I am not getting attached to any characters. <laughs> That's on the children. I mean, you have a point. Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fail, probably. Pedro and Sana seem to think I'll fail. But we're gonna try. <laughs> oh. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Sad he's not here to see it. Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. I'm friends with Pano and Krim. Yes, that's what passes for friendship. <laughs> oh. Friendship. What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? Uh uh. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied, even if it's just to be safe. <laughs> Are you denying it? I need answers, Nagito. Give me my answers for once. You are right. Just to be safe. Oops. I hold on. What did she say? You're right, Willie. Really one chance to vote after all. Okay. Yeah, just to be safe. Guess I have no choice. If that's the case. I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma, you heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait. You know, at least five characters in V3 you'll fall for. Five? Oh, goodness. What does Pato think? Does Pato agree with five? <laughs> I would ask Sana, but I don't know if Sana's lurking. They were not feeling good today, so I hope they're getting rest. Five? Really? You agree with five? Oh, gosh. I have peeked at the characters themselves. Plus, buying Danganronpa stuff, I've run into them. And number five will surprise you? Okay... We will get there. <laughs> We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be all right. Salus is like, quiet! This is the best part of the movie! <laughs> That's what I believe. Oh, Splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. Thanks, Monami. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. I'm very confused on how to even feel about Monami. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. Thanks, Monami. No real reason, just cause. <laughs> 
The absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. And the situation we're in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. Oh, gosh. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was gonna start, but... Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way that it was gonna happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out, too. You're the only one who didn't know. I uh, no, um, was not? Oh. Isn't that right, Monami? Hey! How much longer are you planning to soak? Let's get along like we always do! Alright! You passed! Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the silence when you're all alone with someone else. Is it? <laughs> so, Monami and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I... I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides, the fact that you snapped at me like that I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy, tiny, one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know? We aren't even friends in the first place. <laughs> Monami is definitely not dealing with Monokuma shit anymore. Then... As your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Is that sad? Well... There may be some demands for that. Oh, I fell for it. I totally took the man. I'm sorry. What, mommy? Okay, I'm gonna save. Goodbye, prologue. Uh, we need to take a break. It has been almost two. Oh, oh gosh. Thanks, Monami. We're gonna t we're gonna take a break. Actually, I'll just leave it here so you guys have music. <laughs> All right, take a quick break, and we'll be back soon.
Welcome back, chat. I hope you had a great break. I... I am ready for more mind-blowing chaos. Mayhem. Could be mayhem, too. Oop, there we go. Hi, Peter. You're so weird. All right. All right. Hi, Monami. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Yeah. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. Guys, Monami believes in us. Oh, no. Yeah? When is that gonna start? That's basically it. <laughs> cough, vent, Monami, cough. <laughs> but Thelos, Monami believes in you! So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? Okay. I'm gonna try really hard, Chiaki, but I don't know if I can just forget them like that. In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the sphere. Okay, I'm with you. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities. Huh. Okay. There's something other than the sphere killed Nagito. All I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hello. Yeah? One of these days, we're gonna have to get you a cat tower and put it next to the chair so that you have your own space. <laughs> Though, I'm pretty sure you'll still end up in my lap. But at least we could have a peanut cam that's re somewhat reliable, maybe. Hi. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Chiaki's sinking really hard on this. I got a cat tree in my bedroom. Yeah, Peanut doesn't have a cat tree. I want one for her. But... Her cat barely uses it. <laughs> that's fair. I want one for her, but like, before I had to rearrange my entire apartment to clear that part of it because of the ceiling, I really didn't have room for one. Now I kind of have room for one, but I'm too afraid to put it over there. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlooked something. Overlooked, huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. Okay. A fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists. But if it does... We need to find out what it is, no matter what. To scratch my bed in the tree. It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. See, I don't have to really worry about that because Hina doesn't have her front claws, sadly. But something that can't be seen. Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hole. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow. I found what I have to shoot, Just but about it. that's already a horrible death. 
The real cause of Nagido's death. Is there something I overlooked? Don't worry, Hajime, I saw it. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds. Maybe he simply bled to death. Mm. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Oh gosh, no! It's It's that, but I can't get to it! Something that can't be seen. Hey, hold on. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow. Just thinking about it, that's all horrible death. Kane, how did he manage to do those things? Let us consider a different fatal wound. I don't remember how to fast forward, so we're just gonna have to go through this. It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds. To shoot away the pink. I don't remember how to do that. There's no way. Nope. Just gotta be quick. Just gotta be quick. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Quick works if you don't know the other way, I guess. It might be. I can't exactly look it up in the menu because I have not changed that. Okay. I remember when I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator. I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. Ryan's Monokuma hasn't said something about his poison. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. Really? Interesting. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. He's from... He's Yakuza. Of course he does. What is that? Mean? But, even if blood blotches appear... If the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Fair. Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full, so how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. It was in the fire grenades! Holy shit! This one had a lot of planning to it. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears! You're totally overvaluing that tail! His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Mm-hmm. Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. It wasn't the grenade. The Nagito was killed and not suicide. I know. But, see, this is where Monokuma's rules really aren't that black and white, because still technically it could be considered a suicide, because Nagito set it up beforehand as a method to be used to kill him himself. Kind of. It kind of like assisted suicide, I guess? 
But he planned it? I'm pretty sure it was an air. I mean, if it's being kept in a refrigerator, it's probably an aerosol. Ah, details. Yes, details. The way the poison entered Nakito's body. The answer is written on the warning label? I should think carefully and try to remember it. I don't remember it. Oh, good. A logic dive. Nagito did love to make things difficult. Okay. Ow. Oh gosh, my health is really low. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, I should be very careful. And then I run into the wall anyway. Oh shit! <laughs> That I fall into the vastness of space anyway. Oh gosh. I don't like this at all. Um, gas. It's an aerosol. Ah! Stop it, game! Ah! No, I don't want to die! <laughs> Why? Are you doing this? Ah! To me! Oh crap! I can't! Just, 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 just be very cautious. No! I don't like this at all. Oh, thank goodness. We made it. How did the poison enter Nagito's body? Through his nose. Oh, it doesn't get any better, does it? Fuck. <laughs> Uh, life is a lie. Okay. Or a spiral. It is something. Oh, good. That's it? Just two questions? Be careful. Thank you, Yamanaka. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> what if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. Yep. Dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! And breathe that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? That is a great question. The reason we didn't breathe in the poisonous gas should be able to explain that mystery too. The fire or the sprinklers? Wait, this does make sense though, because Monokuma wouldn't let us in right away. Okay. The fire would... Fire... I'm gonna go with sprinklers. Oh, good. The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? 
Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. Susceptible to hydrolysis. Yeah. We did read that. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But Nakito was lying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poison. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where's the container, Kazuichi? Ask the questions! In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then Stop. Already. Stop looking at Sonya with just ooey gooey eyes and ask the questions. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still <laughs> sounds like a suicide. God, Naicho. <laughs> well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should nope. get on with the voting time, right? No. Nope. Mysteries are not all solved now. You guys haven't figured out how the poison got there. Uh, well, but... What? There's still more? I mean... Not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. That too! Nagito's giving us answers this time, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Is that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. I know, the only time we get answers is when he's not here. <laughs> He will tell us everything when he is not here. Why didn't I think of that? See, we really should have just locked him up in a room somewhere. Then he would have been safe from himself. He might still be alive, and you all thought it was an awful idea that I was being horrible. But no. I could have, could have saved him. Prez be present even from the grave. <laughs> I'm gonna add that to my end of stream tweet. <laughs> that Nagito has been voted president of the Forest of Secrets. <laughs> and there wouldn't be a bomb scare right in all this trouble. Exactly! See? You guys thought I was being an awful person, but I was really just making things so much simpler. And saving Nagito's life. <laughs> Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No. That can't be. There might have been an accomplice. An accomplice? Now you're bringing up an, You mean the, the rest of the class? Huh? Ch Chiaki, what did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought... I hate this so much. I don't want to think about the chaos, the forest... Well, okay. Fano and Krim are part of the forest. You know, it's got enough chaos. I don't think we need Nagito to be ruling over it. Then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? There we go. Chiaki's asking the questions. Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse. Then the thing that would have been left behind is... The container. The meat on the bone? What? Are you talking about 
talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? At some point, I touched my glasses. I can see a smear. You can't carry around poison without There's a lot of opportunity. How would you carry around poison without a container? Throw back to the first trial? <laughs> I was like, hold on. Let me let me try to go back through here. Who died first? What happened? Got it. Nope, I got it now. I got it. You're right. You're right. Uh Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Plastic container away from sunlight. Fire grenades. The container probably melted in the fire. Did you see a puddle of plastic somewhere? It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it completely incinerate. He tested this. Didn't he? Did he, he oh tested this to make sure it worked, didn't he? Melted puddle of plastic. There was the blue plastic thing. Did he melt a container with the poison in it to see if that would release the... Oh. Because he also had a face mask. Or gas mask. Yes, I'm still on the trial. <laughs> Welcome back. I do a lot of stopping and thinking <laughs> and commentating. <laughs> it takes a while. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Right, take care. Maybe he was testing types of plastic? To be fair, it is a longer trial in this case. That, I mean, yeah. I just make things longer by constantly stopping and putting in my thoughts and brain flashes. <laughs> then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. That is impossible. Sonia, the word impossible does not exist in this 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 game scenario thing. Universe. Universe is a good word. Right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Guys are missing things. Come on. Did anyone take something from the crime scene? I am! <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I, I also feel that way. That's why I just want to rule this as Nagito suicide. Do that. Nobody here has to get hurt. <laughs> News for you, Soda. These games are nothing but twists. Uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Do you not know where you're at, Soda? But that's no good. Huh? I feel like 
Nagito has seen through us. From the grave, even. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. Yep. He'd probably say something like, so that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> something like that. <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> Redacted. What? <laughs> Do this, do this. Anyway. Shut up. You just be quiet. Wow, Monami. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Wait, Monami is excited because we're all working together in our hope, right? We're all hopeful together and everything. How is she gonna feel if she if what we think or what I think is happening? It's true, and it turns out we all were responsible for Nagito's death. <laughs> huh. Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Yes. Like Fuyoshiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. Wanna <laughs> be for secretary of the bent. Oh my gosh. She is surprisingly angry all of a sudden at all of this. Which is why I feel like even though it seems unlikely that Nogito was her secret person. But but then why did he want to reveal the seek the traitor if he was the traitor? I very confused by by all of that. But this this is the focus now. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. We will interrogate Monami later. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. Kale may have a point. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragment. Guys, Akane just had a great idea! <laughs> Shock Tachi made too. <laughs> what is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it's like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. Game on again. Maybe. What Akane just said right just what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagito brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was No, no. 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 Oh, I need this. Nope, I- that was the wrong button. I need another R. Or an I. That's the one I needed. Now I need an R. Oh, crap. R I E there Oh sh shit G R nope <laughs> oh, I died Chad I died Died I was getting there there were too many letters! The 
This is my. Yes. We will never give up. Never give up. There we go. Full health. See, we'll do it. We got this now. Yep. 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 <laughs> ah, that was way off on the side. How was I supposed to do that? I need an eye. An eye would be great. There's an eye. 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 Fire. Oh gosh. Uh, e. I need a G. What color was the G? There it is. Um. Uh, 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 help! <laughs> Too many letters! R. I need another E. Okay, E. N. Listen, game. A D I can't letters are everywhere. They are not the right letters. D E I can get it. I did it. <laughs> that is probably the most stressful part. I see. I got it. Ah. The fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. In what? Guess that makes sense, but then can't really control which one. Okay. One of the fire grenade canisters? I would have just put it in all of them, like a little bit in each, just to make sure. Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Wait, are you saying that he had one of the containers already in the warehouse and that we didn't just throw the poison at him? There was something Nagito was trying to do? Yes, more than likely. I don't know what it is yet. That bastard. He totally knew we were going to throw those fire grenades. So, hold up. Was the fire grenade with the poison already in the warehouse? Or did we throw it in? This is this is the question. Because there wasn't one missing, as far as we could tell. Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. Because the fire grenades didn't work either. Like they were supposed to, whistles. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but the canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? Mm-hmm. That is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? It was blue aluminum we found, wasn't it? Not plastic. Could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Ahead of time. Like... Ahead, ahead of time. How long has he been planning this? Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. 
Sonia's words contain a clue. All right, fine. Don't let me read it. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matches this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. We also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. But she probably wore when he put it in the container. Not testing. It's how I put it into the container. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. I have oh, itchy what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? But did he? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide. Enough already! But did he? You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. Here's the thing, too. Okay, let's say, let's say that he only put it in one of the canisters, right? Do we then have to prove which one of us threw that specific canister? How would we know? How would Monokuma know? So it wouldn't have to be the whole all of us who can who killed him. It would only have to be one, but like how do you how how would you figure that out? But again, if it's assisted suicide, does that still count as a murder or you know a suicide? Lots of questions. So why are there you know that's, these streams are the streams where I get the most emoji reactions from chat, and now I've got a whole bunch of dots. <laughs> See, I told you, the conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. Fuyuhiko, <laughs> come on. Chiaki's not convinced. That there wasn't an accomplice. I'm trying to make Hellnet to spoil stuff, so take the dots. And I text, will take the dots and and I will enjoy <laughs> how difficult it is for chat to shh. <laughs> you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. Let's go, Chiaki. Let's dive right into it. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? <laughs> what the hell? Do you still want to keep going? No idea how much I'm smiling right now. I can imagine. I can probably imagine. Because <laughs> it's probably the same amount of smiling I do when Brian plays a Souls game. <laughs> is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a tears in your eyes. Oh no. <sighs> no, it's not. Chucky? Chucky about to drop the bomb, guys. I'm sorry. But I just realized it. Realized what? Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. Mm -hmm. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? Let's go. Here we go. It probably happened at the same time. 
The moment the fire grenades were brought, and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison, are the same? Would that same moment be? I see. Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Oh boy! Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. And Nagito planned it. That little... stirred. the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... Did it mean... He didn't kill himself? Not directly. You said so yourself. You said Nagito committed suicide. That was the simple answer. Well... It wasn't really that simple, but it was the simple answer. <laughs> Kazumichi, nothing is so black and so so easy to find figure out. Then who killed Nagito? Been here for five chapters now. I don't know how many days. There's like what two days most of the time. So what, ten days? How long have we been here? You mean who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? person who prepared the poison fire grenade was... Nagito! I see! It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? person who set the warehouse fire was Nagito! Figured that out already. Was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? These aren't the same questions, Akane. Pay attention. The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? Reason Nagito set the warehouse on fire to make someone throw the poison. Tell me, he... He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? No. It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. Uh-huh. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? C could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. Yep. And for that reason, he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. How do we complete this trial? There's no way to figure out who killed them. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. Ah, oh, Nagito! You're so infuriating sometimes. How do we move forward now? Hey, Monokuma, want to tell us how this one works out? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? It's so like him, too. Yeah. 
This is who you want to vote for your president? Oh my gosh. How does this help anybody, Nagito? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. It's far enough away from the door, nobody else would die and it would just be him. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then... Whoa, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death! The spear didn't fall until he died? Yes, keep thinking about the why. It's important. Kind of. Maybe. <laughs> it might be the poison's fault they let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Except it was instantaneous death from the poison. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Monokuma is loving this, I can tell. Are you fucking serious? I could... Oh... It could be any one of them. If it's not intentional, it could be anyone. <gasps> it could be Chiaki. No. Oh no! Okay. Let's not jump to conclusions. Sake worked up about nothing. I'm sure it's fine. Oh no. his trap all along I... mm. even the wounds all over his body it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened his true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve he wanted to prove to us there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses is that why he what he is I don't He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. So do you know Monokuma? Do you actually know who the blackened one is in this case? Do you have the answers? As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces! Does it sad? That would be despair! And Nagito is not about despair, except he really was looking down on all of us for a bit there. Monokuma knows everything. That's right. He has the superpower, the secret power of Monami. He knows all things. For those of you who believe there are no He always knows all things. That is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I, I am so sorry. Please vote me as the killer. We can't, Sonya. If we do, and it wasn't you, we all die. 
Except for the one person who didn't throw it. Or no, who did throw it. Oh, Okay. We can, we can, we can figure this out, right? That's not the fucking issue here. It's not Miss Soya's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But Look at all the despair. How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we could make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. But why? Uh, however, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? Good question. That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras. If Monokuma doesn't know, his trial doesn't count. Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap ass surveillance cameras or whatever. <laughs> I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. How? I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya. And one of those visits seemed to take a while. <laughs> Please stop. I will never become clean. <laughs> how can you be so sure? I mean, how can you have such an awful power? My gosh, Kazuichi. I'm So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is. Yes, he says. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Any mini mighty mo? Is giving up all we can do? No. Never give up. I know so we're just gonna deep dig a deep hole and we're gonna take Kazuichi and go poop and then and that's it. That's the end of it. No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? <laughs> Kazuichi has now taken Nagito's role in this game. The person we need to tie up and lock somewhere. Is there? Please do share, Chiaki. Really? Hey, is it all right if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? Yes. He'll suffocate in a hole and we'll be blackened. We'll, we'll make sure he's got air holes. He'll be fine. <laughs> Sure, my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. Okay. That's right. It doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Food? Water? He'll get water when it rains, and there'll be earthworms. And other insects. He'll be fine! <laughs> <laughs> Good protein, too. <laughs> then I have to do it. Even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. He's in a hole! <laughs> He's fine! <laughs> I don't see the problem. You could just toss Sonya. No! No, 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 no. We can't give him the object of his obsession. Closing argument. Oh, we're doing this already? Okay. Inside Nagito's refrigerator. We don't have that. Before switching the poison. Okay, gloves, mask, cap. This place inside the break room. We don't have it yet. Come, Monokuma panel. 
Okay, don't have that yet. Put a lot of work into this. His whole body was it tied up. Okay. Oops, I let go. Oops, I let go of the cord. That sounds like him. No? All right. Oh, probably the duct tape. Fire her house. <laughs> Oops, I let go. <laughs> All right, um, uh, go back to the beginning. I forgot I can just do this. Okay. Still don't have that one. Uh, or that one. Uh, I don't think that's right. Don't have that one. Nope. Nope. What is this what Nagito's video message was? Oh! The video message. Okay. Still don't have the poison? All right, this was placed inside the break room. that one yet either. Inside. All right, here's our poison. Here's our Monokuma plushie. Okay, that's it. Got it. The person who Here we go. This incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushie factory break room with that poison. 
When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence. The blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade. Took it with him to the factory. And put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. Okay. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape. And after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagato Oy. never let go of the spear. Oy. This plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. This is awful. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagato's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. Nagato, why? But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity Uh, she can't look so... <laughs>
This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Yes, Chiaki, please. Uh, um, Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? You say you just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. What was a little strange? Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. Was he relying on his luck? Was he relying on his luck? His ultimate luck? That the tr maybe the traitor grabbed the right bottle and threw it? He relied on luck for the stupid Russian roulette thing. Oh my. Oh. Care. It's the. Oh my. It's not that I didn't care. It's. Oh my. My. You are. The ultimate ass. He has, I know, but like, fuck. That feeling of even in his death. Oh my gosh. He believed we'd notice the fire grenade. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. Not us. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? He isn't trapping us. He's trapping them. And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. Nagito believed in his fucking No! <laughs> Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. I just want to bang my head against something. Nagito, you're so frustrating! I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. I love to hate and hate to love. I know it! But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. He really did! You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Yeah, he only took out one bullet! <laughs>
He did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. So much. What did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. <laughs> I gotta go back to Raider thoughts. Oh my gosh. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. Just why he had to rely on luck. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? Traitor. No, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. I see. That's it. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. He acted like he did, but he... ...really didn't, did he? Then... ...what he said in his video message... He was lying. As he's done. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then, just as Nagito said at the beginning, his purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said. We would have reached the answer much quicker. Reason this took so damn long? Is it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Oh no? Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That sounds like our boy Nagito. That's something he'd say. What are you thinking now, Monami? Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? Mm-hmm. He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. Sounds way too unbelievable to actually happen, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. And we don't have the ultimate luck! But 
even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if you don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Are you thinking it? You were the only one that swipes your handbook. Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Okay, that's where that thought was. Okay. They couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Because they weren't created to do that. They weren't created to do that? Chiaki? Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Chiaki? That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Wait. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? I'm a little confused and very concerned. Hachime? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Chiaki? Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? <laughs> I I want to think about this. I'm bouncing back and forth between Chiaki and Hajime right now. But like, Hajime can't act like the traitor if he doesn't know he's the traitor. But but then... No! Hajime, please. No!
Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! No! Ah, <laughs> you totally guessed it right. <laughs> You all knew. You all knew. <laughs> Not my girl. No. My last sweet bean. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. No. I'm the traitor. <laughs> Agent sent by the future foundation to hide uh, among you all is me. No. Uh, I hate this game. Is why I can't help it, Yamanaka. <laughs> why does this make sense? Damn it! I love this little girl since the very beginning. <laughs> I hate this game. Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. We've been through this, it's never a joke. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? Now, no, tricking us. What? We were not tricked. After all, we have been working together all this time. We have been helping each other all this time. Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation. That is obviously a lie. Please wait. The future foundation isn't what you think it is. Uh, and what is it, Monami? Okay, this game. Shut the fuck up. We're talking to Chiaki. No, I have nothing more to say. My heart right now. <laughs> I thought losing Gundam was bad, but my heart right now... Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. No. So the only thing left to do is vote. No! I won't 
be satisfied. I don't want any answers anymore. If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, forget. I. Uh... Hate this game. You cannot go until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. Not really. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? What? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Satisfaction comes in chapter six, sorta. I don't, uh, there's no satisfaction from this. I want no more answers. Nagito can keep his damn secrets. I'm gonna sulk and pout. It's okay. Huh? Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? No. Favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. No! What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? And I was so close to getting all of the shards for Chiaki, too. I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. No! <laughs> that's why... The only thing I, I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. <laughs> Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Oh, gosh. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please. <laughs> I don't want to. Looks like we got to do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... It's sweet Chiaki, our little gamer girl who falls asleep all the time! Standing up even. She's not disguised at all! Monami? Because Chiaki isn't the traitor. Monami, I don't believe you even though I want to, but why? Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Wow. You're going to listen to my request, right? Oh. Damn it. Also... How much longer do we have on this trial? Oh. Almost done. Like... Like a half hour? Should be relatively quick. Depends on crying time. Thanks, Zelos. This is for you. <laughs> 
three more. Okay. All right, let's. I know it's 10 o'clock and I have to work in the morning, but let's try to finish this trial. Don't lie. Monami and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here. Is that the only way? Panic talk action? Oh. Uh -huh. Let's all get along. I, won't let you I am very, very bad Let's at this. I have to fight Monami. I can't lose. Hug me, you stupid face. I won't let you. I'm just gonna get these by pure chance. Oh, my grades? I am awful at this and this rhythm is even harder Let's than normal. to do it when there's nothing up there. Uh, I can't. I can't. Okay. I don't like the rhythm thing. This is not the same as usual. Night bot is sleeping, apparently. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the rhythm just mash buttons Notebook. This is the end. Yep, Chiaki drew the notebook, didn't she? And wrote it. When we investigated Nagito's cottage, I discovered a notebook with the new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here How today. did you get it? Oh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! Is this? Is this? 
Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. It's different for me. You know? We know Chiaki. It took me this long, but I finally understand. No. The truth is, I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just... I wanted to turn my eyes away from the truth. But it contained. Now, I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning... It's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. The topic we discussed in that entry. I don't remember. I don't remember. The future goal? No, it was about the final dead room, wasn't it? No. Crap, I don't remember. Nope. Damn it. I don't remember. I don't remember. It wasn't that, because we don't remember that. Nope. Okay. It's the final dead room. I'm awful. I don't remember. In the notebook, there was a specific entry. Okay. Right. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room. who knew that is Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Good memories. A broken heart. Was that all a lie too? Miss Sonia. My soul. Chiaki is. She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. Not by Monokuma. I I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. That's right. That you mention it. Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She, she knew? Monokuma knew, so... No, I don't. Of course not. She's our friend. I will not believe it. I refuse to believe Chiaki is Good a friend. There is just no way. I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... But then nobody will be saved. What? Chiaki is not the traitor! 
when we were trying to turn off the bomb. Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. I want to. Chucky is not the traitor. When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. Oops. No. Unless you know a whole lot Trap. of bombs. I missed it. I pushed the wrong one first. You know if it's fake just by looking at it. Chucky is not the traitor. When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to touch it. Ah, there it is. No, I missed it. No? All right. That made sense to me, but okay. What else did we have? What's sound music now? Monami was peeking at the whole thing. Okay, it's the wrong bullet. Right thing, wrong bullet. Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate. That's not it. That's not it. Sonia shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. I, got it. I don't want to like it. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because. If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard. No, Krim. No hearts. This is a broken heart stream. I do not want to hear that. I'm devastated. Do Please do not say another word. <laughs> I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. And just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is a traitor. It's not a good time. Uh, what are we doing here? Probably that and one. If she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Jackie is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. Why? After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Because you test- I'm out of cuts. Because you tested it. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb I can't do this. 
quit your race. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Even if she knew the bomb was okay. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, oops. I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Waiting for the next there. No. Sure. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor. If that counts as evidence. I missed it again. I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Ah. Okay. Even if she knew the bomb was Nope, fake. that's not what I wanted. Okay, I can slow. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, mm -hmm. I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Shh. One short. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. Uh huh. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor. If that counts or as two. evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Done. Oh no! Nope. Okay. Fake isn't the problem. It what paused too long. Told her. What matters is that she heard uh, about the monomy. <laughs> I hate Who's this. Other than me and Monami? Who knew that bomb was fake? That someone is Monokuma. Indeed. Monokuma said so Shh. earlier, correct? He knows everything that Monokuma probably told Chiaki. I can't do anything. Go, go. Nope. If so, you cannot declare that. You left. Monami and Chiaki were working together. I don't want her. Damn it! Even if she knew the bomb was fake. Great. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Okay. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier. Check my. Oh. Oh. Wait, hold on. That it was fake beforehand. That one. I see. Wrong. Wrong bullet. Thank. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. <laughs> that... Monokuma may have just been lying. No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? No. That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you that's not No. It. No. We like Nagito even less now. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? Doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. My sweet bean. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, 
Nobody's going to be safe. I don't believe in Nagito. Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? No. There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Oh. Why are you telling us to believe in you? And sacrifice you? That is just too cruel. I'm sorry. No. She's joking. Manami. I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. Why? He's killing Chiaki, our sweet precious bean. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you are able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. No, it's not. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Hey, Chiaki. No. You don't have to worry. Believe in me. And cast your vote. No. God damn it. Why couldn't it have been Kazuichi? Why did it end up like this? I think I've gotten a B on almost everything, if not a C. It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Then let's rebel against Monokuma! Say Chiaki! Jeez, no. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. Most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But even so, I have to move forward. Listen, Krim, you weren't here for it, but she didn't choose to kill Nagito. Nagito relied on his goddamn luck to trap the traitor. I know you weren't here for it, but it's not her fault. Nobody clipped a thing. I have to move forward. This is not moving forward. We believe in the person who's urging us forward. We have to start walking. I can't clip anything. I thought this despair your hope will shine. Oh, and through this despair your hope will shine bright. Not my hope! No. And believe. With as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. No! No! I don't want to! Not again! Not my sweet, precious person! Even so. No. 
No. I don't even want to read his lines. There, I pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the future foundation, Nagito Komita's killer, is... Shut up, Monokuma. Nobody wants to listen to you right now. Chiaki Nanami. Damn it. Are you serious? I was correct? The fact that Chiaki was a traitor. The fact that Nagito's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true? Damn it. Plus, that means that Faster managed to pull it off. No. Congratulations, everyone. No. Damn it. Stupid. We're not celebrating at all. Damn it. Chucky, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the future foundation? No, poor Nagito. Nagito deserved everything. An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? Wait, what? I need to end soon. <laughs> that is... I... I cannot believe it. Even though I do not want to believe it. Yep. Things ch A lot of things have changed, Crim. I said he didn't deserve to die like that. Le like that was the important part of this. But he did it to himself, and he framed... Ah! Uh! My bee! My sweet bee! Yes, I am! There is no choice but to believe it. Right? Or but to believe. I'm sorry. It would be better if I could have said it sooner. But I didn't say it no matter what. I can't betray the future foundation. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the future foundation. Excuse me. Chucky would have come to life and went after me with video and Cory would still claim their <laughs> Chucky didn't go after Nagito! Go back and watch the VOD, Krim! Damn Nagito's freaking luck. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. You're right. Why? Now's not the time to be laughing. Well? But, strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. Chucky knew what? <laughs> she didn't me mention what? I don't know. I was able to... I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why. I feel proud of my actions. Uh. You're still saying things I don't get, but... If we ask you anything, you're just not gonna answer, right? Like, if we ask you... Ask why you were in the Future Foundation and stuff. I'm sorry. That is... 
even if you were a, tra a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki, you will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So, the traitor was revealed, and Chiaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nakito's plan, huh? Like... Uh, about that. Was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate him? So, isn't that strange? Strange? So. I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. You've raised a good point. That's exactly it. You can have the crazy psychotic dude. I don't want him. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagito's plan. I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor. And kill everyone else besides the traitor. What? Oh, what? Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta wrap up. I gotta wrap up. Kill everyone else besides the traitor? That was Nagito's goal? Why? It's... Huh? Why would he do something like that? Of all the... To form a plan, only the traitor would survive. Is that bastard really that twisted? End stream on a cliffhanger? I could. It's okay. Uh, okay. What? I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chihaki. You really are a kind-hearted person! Hmm. Huh, you think so? <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality from! Perhaps... Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Our dad and big bro, what? I know. Hey, come on now. Hey, don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I can't lose. And I, I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even if I know it's a fight I cannot win. Let's try to retaliate. Huh? huh? Retaliate? Alright, I was hoping to get to at least the end of... You know, the punishment. But I... We've really got... <laughs> can't, can't find the right button. I'm so freaking... I have to go to bed so I can go to work. And I don't want to go to work. <laughs> Hi. Okay, that we're we're ending there. I hate everything. I hate everything right now. And you all, most of you, a good portion of you knew from the very beginning. From day one. It kind of... How can it get better? My sweet bean.
I'm going to go crawl into bed and into a tiny little ball of just I hate everything. It's going to hate everything. Everything. Everything is awful. Well, let's go see who's live, shall we? Who are we raiding? Milo's live, Morgan's live, Austin is live. The Stanley Parable, Parable, Parable? Huh, I just added that to my wish list. All right, find better. Uh, that's a decent response. All right, chat, I hope you've enjoyed my pain. We need some good fives. I'm going to send you all over to Morgan. Who is doing tarot reading? Magical energy tonight? Ooh. Stanley Parable is good. Yeah, it was rec it's a it was recommended in my one of my books. Thank you, Corey. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, I suppose you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, we will finish this up on Friday and Saturday, and, uh, yeah. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the St. Jude Summit, live stream summit. So... Yes. Uh that's that's it. I got nothing. I am so emotionally trained and mentally exhausted from all of this. I I don't have much to say. Gonna DM me then. It is my bedtime. It's actually like 41 minutes past my bedtime. <laughs> but feel free. Alright, chat, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.